Hey guys, we are continuing with our simplifying expressions lessons. We are going to learn about distributive property next. And then tomorrow we will do the second half of these notes over simplifying expressions. We'll combine what we did yesterday and today. But today we are just gonna do this first section of the notes over the distributive property. So the distributive property, with the distributive property numbers inside the parentheses can be multiplied by the number outside the parentheses. So keyword here is multiplied. We will just be doing multiplication. And you need to make sure that you pay close attention when we are multiplying negative numbers. That is where the most mistakes are made because people just aren't paying attention. All right, so let's look at this first one. Two times nine X plus 14. All I'm going to do is multiply the two times the nine X and the two times the 14. So let's do two times nine X first, that is 18 X. And two times 14 is 28. And this would be my final answer because those are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. Okay, number two, still same process, even though it's a decimal, I'm gonna do 3.5 times 4x, and 3.5 times four is 14, so that'll be 14x, and then 3.5 times negative two is negative seven. So the final answer here will be 14x minus seven. Okay, number three, still going to do the same process. I have a negative number, so we need to make sure we're careful about our signs here. Negative 10 times one half is negative five, and negative 10 times negative nine is 90. Oh, I forgot the x there. That's another thing people do, don't do that. So negative 10 times 1 half x is negative 5x, and then negative 10 times negative 9 is a positive 90. That's probably where most people mess up whenever we do a negative times a negative, that is a positive. Okay, number four, this looks a little bit different, but it's the same thing. I'm still multiplying the number um, outside the parentheses to the numbers inside the parentheses. Since there is no addition and subtraction separating those, that's how I know it's multiplication because the parentheses and the number are right next to each other. So if that looks weird to you, you can even rewrite it as how we've been seeing it, negative x plus 1.2. And now I'm just going to do 3 times negative x, which is negative 3x, and then 3 times 1.2 is 3.6. Okay, let's look at our next one, negative 2 fifths times negative 10 minus 25. So I'm going to have a negative times a negative both times here, so I know that my answers are going to end up positive. And negative 2 fifths times negative 10 Oops, I forgot to arrow out. Negative 2 fifths times negative 10 is positive 4. And then negative 2 fifths times negative 25 is positive 10x. So that works, or sometimes it's a little bit more proper to put the variable first. Either of these answers are fine here. Okay, last one. It says write the perimeter of the triangle as a simplified expression. And since each of the signs has each of the sides has one line, that means this is an equilateral triangle. So all three sides. are 1.5x minus 2. So I can actually use the distributive property to solve this. There's three sides and they're all 1.5x minus 2. 
So I'm just going to distribute like I have been and three times 1.5 is 4.5x. And then three times negative two is negative six. So that would be the simplified version of the perimeter of the triangle. Okay, that is all for distributive property today. Tomorrow we will finish these by going over simplifying expressions.